guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the blue room or whatever so today i'll be doing my makeup and also telling you guys about a true crime that i watched and i thought it was interesting so i'm like let's share so this is the story of a vietnamese family a young girl named jennifer her mom her dad and her brother he isn't all that important to the story but he is a part of the family so so han pan is jennifer's father okay he is very strict he wants his whole fam he wants his family to do well his children to do well so jennifer does well in school she gets straight a's he's also a pianist and she does figure skating her brother felix is studying engineer but his, his father is like, I don't want him to study engineer. I want him to be, I don't want him to assemble the cars. I want him to be making the cars. So I'm like, all right, I feel you. I get what you're coming. I get it. You're, you're the father. You want better for your kids. You left Vietnam because you want a better home for your kids. All right, cool. So being any other parent obviously they expect more from their children they hope that their children will do better than they did essentially so comes one night there was a home invasion the men came in they tied up the father they tied up the mother the the son was not there so they tied up both mother and father right Jennifer was not downstairs So at the moment they were the only two who were tied up However, she says or she tells the police and all them that while being upstairs she heard and no, she heard footsteps, but somehow she could tell that it wasn't her parents footsteps and she was like so she peeped you know, had a little look to see who it was it was actually the men they tied her with a shoes lace to the banister she says it's the allegedly for me while being tied to the banister and everything apparently she heard the men like asking about money and stuff like that because it's an invasion they had two cars there apparently money was like laying around they were asking the men were asking for money but the kind of money that they were asking for the family did not have that kind of money time went by mother got shot father got shot the men left police is like this is a woman vision you're asking about money yes you shot the mother you shot the father the girl is still upstairs basically still tied still tied up to whatever she was tied up to completely unarmed jennifer being as slick as she did somehow managed to she had a flip phone she somehow managed to call the 911 get through to the police and told her that men invaded Men invaded their house and her parents got shot. When I heard her speaking on the phone and they played back the clips, she said she yelled. I didn't hear her yelling. The way, the way she spoke, and she was talking on the phone, it was like the phone was directly at her ear. So I don't know, but she said she yelled, right? so she somehow got loose she went downstairs no she heard her father screaming at first she went downstairs so by this time her mother was dead like her mother her mother was actually unalive i'm talking like this because of youtube because copyright and all these stuff if you say certain words you know it will be copyrighted and stuff like that her father ended up not dying so he was in a coma the earth story was beginning to sound like suspicious to the police and they were like all right 
some things aren't adding up you know some things aren't necessarily some things aren't necessarily making 100 when they had 50 and 50 so she they had her come in and ask her to show them like all right you show us the way you were tied up and show us the way you were able to access the phone and call the police at first she was hesitant but then she did as they asked and the way she said it seemed like all right it could have been something that she could have managed like it wasn't necessarily an impossible task so they were like okay funeral came around for her mother and this was also very suspicious to the police because at the funeral apparently she did not cry she didn't show any sort of emotion any sort of sadness like nothing of the sort she was just there she should have known that that would make her suspicious because your father's in the hospital in a coma your mother just died and you have no emotion to the situation like you're not sad you're not crying turns out little missy was more of a liar than everyone knew she uh, she looks she looks so innocent though i'm like who would have thought she looks so she looks so innocent turns out that those straight a's that she were she was getting turns out that those straight a's were forged jennifer was not the most innocent nor the most honest person she had a boyfriend which her parents like forbid she had a boyfriend which her parents like completely forbid but she wanted to see him anyway she wasn't going to school she didn't even graduate from high school she faked all that she didn't graduate from college but also i thought you know what this speaks to the kind of parents that they were because if she did not graduate from high school or college and you as a parent did not know that that says to me that you did not go to her any one of her graduation because otherwise you would have known like you would have known so the fact that you did not know tells me that you weren't that involved in her life she wasn't even at college she was literally living with her boyfriend this girl actually staged like she staged the whole thing the men coming in the house invading the house asking for money she staged the whole thing her father told her the only way you can be with this guy is over my dead body and she was like okay bet she went okay bet so her boyfriend gave her a burner phone and they actually hired two other guys to come in and unalive the family when the police started to catch up on her she started to say that it was because they were like tiger parents and she wanted which essentially meant that they were like tyranning they were very controlling and all that good jazz so she didn't want to be the be there anymore it the setup wasn't for the parents it was for her but police was like it was for you and they came in and they armed everybody but you the father came out of the coma and the father spilled all the beans when the father and the mother was tied up, Jennifer actually came downstairs and she was being mad friendly with the captors and apparently she knew them. She set up the whole thing. So like the father like busts a cap in all that and she ended up going to prison. Two of the guys also went to prison. One of them plead guilty but i'm like girl for the love of a guy you did all this for the love of a guy like could never be me could never be me like it's just a guy it's just a guy and these are your parents and even when things came down to it the night when everybody when everything was happening you didn't even change your mind you didn't even think about like no this like legit is my family i cannot do this she was like no let's do this and at the end of the day i didn't even get the guy it didn't even turn out ending up with the guy so so it was not worth it in my book but
so that was my play by play of what happened with Jennifer and her Tyron parents was it all that detail no if you want to go watch the documentary then if you want all the deeds go watch the documentary this was just my play by play of what happened and how cruel people can be thank you for watching my video and also giving me a chance to do makeup on my channel on my channel and i talk about stuff that i like that I watch, that I want to share. I don't have a title for these. I was suggested a title, but being that it won't always be like uncomfortable stuff like that title, probably won't work. Probably I'll just, when I remember the, the in the next video, I'll just say that one. Also, if this video was mad noisy, there's a lot going around. Work over there, over there, somewhere around. So, thank you for coming to my video and watching and. Let's see what I decide to do in the next video. Bye!